Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and oh! Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and I'm super excited. If you see this box, Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and as you can see from the box, if you do not know, this is a box from Candles from the Keeping Room, aka one of the original vendors of wax. Carol from Candles from the Keeping Room has been making wax for over 25 years, I believe it's 26 now, and her wax is phenomenal, and she's decided this year, 2022, to retire. Now it makes me super, super sad. It's a very bittersweet year for a lot of us who are original in the wax community and remember Carol and her wonderful wax and her iconic polypropylene bags with homespun, her hard, almost clear, 100% uh, paraffin wax, her incredible samples, her beautiful scents. Carol is such an amazing woman, love her so much, and will support her until she closes the candle keeping room. And hopefully we still have a lot more openings. She does say she has a ton more oils to melt through, which makes me super happy. But anyway, I'm super excited. Everything is wrapped incredibly. I just got this box off of my porch. As you can see, all of these are the bags individually wrapped and then inside this bag which she hand draws a little flower or seasonal whatever it is on each one is stuffed to the brim with samples so without further ado let's get into it if you look inside this bag it is filled with samples and i'll just take out one of them so this is the little shapes each one of these is good for about one melt some are so big you can actually cut them in half but at the bottom of the ordering page, the website is definitely more old fashioned. It's um, an older website, so you have to have patience when you place this order. She does open every other month she's doing about right now. She loads the website. I believe this time there were 5,500 bags and she posts it. It's ready to shop. Everything is ready to ship and her website does have a cart hold. I think it's 30 minutes. It could be an hour, but I think it's a 30 minute cart hold. Whatever's in your cart is in your cart until you check out, which is awesome. But at the bottom of the ordering, it actually says, what type of samples would you like? So I wrote strawberry bakery. So we'll see what it is. First, we have summer strawberry. I do not have scent descriptions for any of these, but I do for the bags that I ordered. Oh, that's nice. This is a very juicy strawberry. Now, Carol is known for her fresh picked strawberry oil. I'm not sure if this is her fresh picked strawberry. Oh, and her stuff needs no cure time. Because it's 100% paraffin, it's ready to go, and the shelf life on her wax is years. I will link her website as well as her Facebook group. Definitely feel free to join. This is like a very fruity, jam-like strawberry. That one is delish. Next, we have strawberry coconut cake. Now these are the shapes she's known for with her strawberries. Look at this. This literally looks like an absolutely real strawberry. It's incredible. Mmm, okay, this, you definitely get coconut. It's like a creamy, almost leaning towards body care coconut mixed with that fruity strawberry. Now I will say too, with 100% paraffin, it definitely um, develops on warm. You definitely get more of the scent when you warm it. Next we have strawberry grape blow pops. Not, I don't love grape, so we'll see. This is definitely like a grape lollipop. You definitely get that super, super fruity, like cough syrupy grape mixed with the fruity strawberry. That's a good one. Oh, this is one I totally forgot to order, so I'm glad there's a sample. Tiffany's Strawberry Pound Cake. So it's a blend of cupcakes at Tiffany's mixed with strawberry. Strawberry Pound Cake. Oh, that's nice. You really get... Her cupcakes at Tiffany's is really, really good. It's I have it on its own. I haven't melted it yet, but you really pick up that like creamy, fruity buttercream mixed with a pound cake. Oh, that is delightful. All of her scents are so good. This one is Strawberry Pizzelle, and it's like this little heart-shaped mold. 
This is nice. Um, Pizzelles are like those like flat, um, was it like an anise cookie? It's good. It's not a favorite. I've had a couple of her Pizzelle scents and they all have that like almondy bakery note. I'm trying to go pretty quickly because I have a lot here. This is Pump the Jam. And I believe this is like a strawberry jam blend. Oh, it is. I, what else is in here? It almost smells like blackberry. It's like a very warm berry. Hmm, interesting. I really like it though. It's different. Next, we have Funky Monkey Marshmallow. And these are like two little acorns. Oh, this is like a very candied banana. I'm not getting any marshmallow. I'm really just getting like a super candied marshmallow or banana. Mm. But again, her wax definitely develops when you put it in the warmer. This one is Strawberry Sunrise. Again, not sure what this one is. Ooh, this is like a citrusy blend. This is almost like, it smells like fresh picked strawberries and orange juice. Almost like a, like a very citrusy orange uh, mixed with the strawberry. That's good. Next, we'll strawberry wafers. That sounds delish. Love all things strawberry. Okay, this is good. It kind of leans a little bit like chapsticky. I'm not sure if that's like the wafer because this kind of reminds me of if you know those like wafer cookies that are like super, super thin, you bite them and it almost tastes like you're eating air. That's kind of what that smells like. Next, we have Strawberry Ice Cream Scoop Bread. Ice Cream Scoop Bread's been around for a long time, that oil, and to me, it just smells like a really rich vanilla. Oh yeah, and this smells like a very, very rich strawberry ice cream. Not Summer Scoop, though, because you definitely do pick up on that bread yeasty element. That's pretty good. Oh my gosh, there's literally so many in here. Next, oh, this is like one of my favorite shapes. It's her flapjack shape. And this is birthday cake and ice cream. How fun. That literally smells like Funfetti cake. Like legitimately like Funfetti cake. You get that like super, super sweet frosting note. Really good. Next, oh, strawberry pound cake, Bath and Body Works type. I did get this bag. So it's nice to have an extra. Smells just like it. Just like strawberry pound cake. Love. Next. Oh, this is a cute little, it's like a little star cookie. This is orange juice cake. One of the scents I did get is super orangey and I'm very excited. So I'm excited to smell this one. It smells just like Coke poke cake. Poke cake. You know those like really moist cakes? You poke them and you pour the juice on top. That smells like a, like a yellow cake with orange juice poured all over it. Next, sweet and salty caramel popcorn, and it's in a little corn shape. Interesting. Oh, that's nice. It's very buttery popcorn, like a very buttery popcorn with a hint of like a salted caramel cream. That is delish. That's different. I don't have any like salty scents from her. This one is marshmallow filled yellow cake. I actually have this scent from before. I ordered this in a bag, and I love it. Yep, it just smells like a very rich birthday cake, like a yellow cake mixed with like super rich um, marshmallow. Next, we have candy corn birthday cake. Now this is interesting. Oh, wow, this really smells like candy corn, and I just want you to take a look at the attention to detail. It literally is like the little pancake shape, and it's a candy corn. Oh, that smells so good. It is like that, like, that, I hate to say like plasticky, but it is like candy corn smells plasticky. It smells just like that plasticky candy corn mixed with cake. And then last but not least is this cute little like bun shape and it is a watermelon cake. Yum. Smell. Oh my gosh. It smells like Jolly Rancher watermelon, which I'm not mad about, but yeah. It smells like watermelon. I don't get much cake. I just get like a really rich Jolly Rancher scent. Like a Jolly Rancher watermelon. Woo! As I threw all the samples on the floor, I'm gonna clean up that mess. I'm going to unwrap 
each of these individual bags and I'll be back like TV time. It is the next day. I was just way too sleepy last night to film and review 25 fragrances and I didn't want to be yawning in front of the camera. So I decided to get some rest and come back here today to review them. Now I did print out the scent list for the bags that I did receive and I also decided that I'm going to read them and like sort them by group. So the first one that I have is Blueberry Corn Muffin and they all come with this beautiful homespun. So I know the crinkling drives people crazy, but honestly, to me, I find it a little bit relaxing. So let me open it up. And what I love about Carol is she literally makes the homespun match the bag. I know it's something super little, but to me, it's just really, really cool. Now, in here, we have little muffins and little waffles, and I can already smell it. This is a blend of our sweet blueberry and our realistic corn muffin. And it totally gives me that. You totally can smell the rich baked blueberry and a little bit of like the, the yeastiness of the corn muffin. It is so yummy. And from my experience, her Blueberry Bakery really comes out on warm. I really, really like her scents. All, like, all of her scents are so good, and even if it's something that you might not love, I'm telling you, it's incredible when it goes in the warmer. The next is Fresh Raspberry Scones, and there's like these little flapjacks, and then you get three, look how cute, realistic, I mean, these literally look like actual raspberries, you guys. And this is our sweet, fresh raspberries blended with our yummy, sweet scones. Yeah, I mean, you definitely get a zingy raspberry. It's like a raspberry jam, very fresh. I'm not picking up on much of the scone fragrance, like that bakery, like, bready dough note. Not, not a ton, but I'm sure it'll come out on warm. Mmm, that's really good. I'm just sticking the bag back in. And I'm not, I'm retying them with you guys. Next, we have Jelly Donuts. Now, this is one that people absolutely love from her. This is a sweet bakery type aroma, that of a yummy jelly donut that is sweet and yummy, just like the real thing. And you get a bunch of little donuts. Look how cute. With a little confetti. Mm-hmm. It smells just like a jelly donut. Just like when you go into the donut store and they're all behind the counter. Mmm. And you get that rich jelly filled donut. Oh, and the first bite is that fruity strawberry mixed jam fragrance. Oh, so good. I love this scent. Now the next one I actually have already had, and this is Mr. Bear's Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. So it's their Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, which is just like the Bath & Body Works type. Hers is super authentic, mixed with Bear Claw. This is incredible. Again, I already have this one, and I actually already have plain Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. So I'm not going to spend the time reopening and retying these bags. I've already reviewed these on this channel. but. They're incredible if you love pumpkin pecan waffles and you love like this yummy bear claws fragrance, you have to try Mr. Bear's pumpkin pecan waffles. It's so good, perfect for the fall. Now this scent, I've been obsessed with pretzel lately and this is literally, it says pretzel. Freshly baked pretzels, warm, rich, delicious. Top notes of whole wheat accord, soy milk, crisp crust. Middle notes of fresh baked pretzel liquid and rich creamy butter. Bottom notes of maple bark, brown sugar, vanilla extract. Warm, fresh baked goodness. Oh yeah, this is a good pretzel. And look how cute. It literally looks like the Pizzelle cookie and it's two-tone. And you get a bunch of those. And then she threw in a couple little waffle shapes. This is a good pretzel. This is a yeasty dough pretzel though. So if you don't like that yeasty dough pretzel, I don't think you'll like this. However, the more I smell it, and I've talked about this before, when you melt a scent like this, especially in paraffin, the notes really come alive and it's like you're truly baking that pretzel in the oven. Oh, I cannot wait to melt this one. 
Next, this one was kind of interesting for me. This is pumpkin seeds and fig. I love the scent of figs, but I wasn't too sure on pumpkin seed. So this is hearty pumpkin seeds, Gresian fig, G-R-E-C-I-A-N, no idea, and soothing bergamot. Surrounded by notes of cinnamon, black pepper, and the perfect touch of warm nutmeg. And look how cute these little pumpkin shapes are. Oh, I cannot wait to melt these. This is a very earthy pumpkin and a very earthy fig. If you don't like fig scents, you will not like this. This is a very, very earthy, sweet fig mixed with that pumpkin seed. And it's not... It's not like a pureed pumpkin or a cinnamon pumpkin. This is very fresh and earthy. It's really different. I think this will be great in the fall when I'm craving something different after, but I still want that pumpkin. And I actually decided, I picked the next round and I already pre-opened the bags because it was even driving me a little crazy. The next one is chestnuts and brown sugar. Now I've had this set blended from a lot of different vendors, but I never had it on its own. So when I saw that Carol was offering it, I had to try it. And it says a delicious mixture of caramel and rich maple combined with chestnuts in a buttery cream base. Very yummy. Now look at this squirrel. See, now this is a big enough shape. I would definitely cut this guy in half. There's like sugar cubes in here. I would probably pop two in a warmer. There's a little acorn shape. And then the rest are like just little grubby squares. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, I can definitely tell where the mix is coming from a lot of them. This is so good. I love brown sugar and wax. It's such a simple fragrance in, in like basic terms, but when it's blended with things, it's so good. And blended with the chestnuts and the sweet cream, oh my gosh, this is heaven. This is going to be perfect for the fall when it's like really chilly outside and you just want something different. Next, old fashioned banana pudding. It's not an order from Candles from the Keeping Room if you do not get um, a melt from her and banana. And I did not find a description for this, but it just smells like banana pudding, straight up. I love banana scents. I actually just got a banana pie from like a local Italian restaurant and it had like chunks of banana in it. Delish, I love everything banana. Oh, and this is so good, so good. And banana to me, you can melt all year long. It's great in the winter because it's just fruity and sweet enough, but in the summer, it's hot out, it's delicious. Mmm, so good. Next, we have two coffees. This one I missed in my last order and I wanted it so bad. This is Coffee Ice Cream Starbucks. So, you get on the top a little coffee bean. Super cute. And then you get these. I can already smell it. They look like little rice cakes almost, but they're actual little coffee beans. Super cute. So, I would like throw one of these in a warmer or half. And this is a sweet vanilla base ice cream with a blast of fresh brewed coffee. A great addition for coffee lovers. Oh, that's so good. So good. It's a very strong, robust, roasted coffee. The vanilla is just subtle. Just a very subtle vanilla base. It's definitely more coffee, which I love. I love a good coffee forward scent. And this has that. So yummy. And then the next coffee is homemade biscuits and coffee. Her homemade biscuits oil, I've never smelled from anyone else. Her, oh my gosh, this is so good. These grubby tarts, uh, this, it legitimately smells like you're rolling fresh biscuits. You get that like, almost like crumbly note when you bite into a biscuit mixed with rich coffee. This is like total Sunday morning. Total Sunday morning in a, in a blend. Oh my gosh. So good. Love. I would totally repurchase this. I haven't even melted it yet, but the homemade biscuits. I'm going to look at her website the next time she opens. I'm getting all of her homemade biscuits sent. I have homemade biscuits and strawberries already. I love it. So now I have homemade biscuits and coffee. I want all the homemade biscuits. Phenomenal. Next is one that... I really wasn't gonna get on my list, but after watching Natalie's video, and she was talking about L3 had a blackberry sugared violet, something like that, I saw pink sugared violets from Candles from the Keeping Room. Now, obviously, it's not the same scent, but 
it just inspired me and Candles from the Keeping Room has beautiful pink sugar blends and they're these little flowers that are just lightly dusted with white. It's really pretty. It's very powdery. Like, honestly, because there's a lot of these little shapes, one in a tea light in my bathroom every once in a while, just to freshen it up, this very reminiscent of baby powder. I don't get much pink sugar. I mainly get like a baby powder scent. It's very pretty. It's not one I would ever, ever think. And I feel like with the paraffin, with the country feel, you typically tend to go more bakery and like fruity scents from her, but it's nice to get something totally different. Next, Huckleberry Harvest. Now, I love me Huckleberry scents, so love me some Huckleberry scents. So when I saw this listed, I had to get it. Such a cute little two-tone. And this is a bouquet reminiscent of blueberry with raspberry, grape, strawberry, and peach top notes and a sweet background. This is so pretty. I love Huckleberry. It's just the right amount of grape for me. I find that I can't do a lot of grape scents. I could do grape soda. I can't do just straight-up grape. But if it's blended with... Hmm. If it's blended with... Huckleberry, I can. Or, I don't think huckleberry is a thing. It's blueberry, raspberry, grape, and strawberry. I think that's huckleberry, but it's really pretty. I like the blend of all the fruits. You definitely do get grape, but blended with everything else, it's really yummy. And then last, before we get into the rest, is all strawberry. I got the most of just strawberry. This, oh my gosh, I could... I can smell this all the way over here. Fresh squeezed orange juice. And look at these orange slices. I mean, they literally look like orange slices. And these cute little heart grubby tarts. Oh my gosh. It says, this is an excellent orange juice aroma. No fuel aroma. No fuel. Like, I guess it's like gasoline. Just like a glass of fresh squeezed orange juice. Oh my God, 100%. This. I need another bag in her next opening. Oh my gosh, this is so bright. It's literally, that's it, nothing else. You took an orange, a very fresh, ripe, juicy orange, and you just squeezed it into a glass. Oh, I cannot wait to melt this. Like, a hot, hot summer day. I just cleaned the house. I'm not leaving the house for the rest of the day. And I pop this in my warmer. This is so bright. Oh my gosh, I love this. And it's not cleaner, it's not chemically, it's not bakery, it's just fresh squeezed orange juice. Oh, that's phenomenal. As crazy and as simple as that sounds, this is like one of my favorites. Are you ready to dive into all things strawberry? I have two bags here that I'm not going to open only because I've talked about them before. Strawberry Pound Cake, Bath & Body Works type, I had a sample. And then Homemade Strawberry Biscuits, again, I've had it. This is incredible. It's that homemade biscuits with the fresh strawberry. It is phenomenal. Highly recommend. Love all things strawberry. Now, it's not a Candles from the Keeping Room haul. Well, I haven't smelled this scent in years. This is her classic fresh picked strawberry. And it's nothing but a bag of strawberries. And let me tell you, it's such a good strawberry. If you love strawberry, you have got to try Carol's. It literally smells like you opened a carton of real strawberries. Like ones you go out to the farm and pick yourself. Like I know over here, a lot of like close farms have like a pick a strawberry day. That's what this smells like. Like you're there on that day picking ripe strawberries that have been warmed and sweetened by the sun. Oh, incredible. Love this scent so much. Always will pick it up. I want to have boatloads of that. Next, we have Strawberry Crunch. Now, I will say I did not read the description before getting this. This is a delectable blend of raspberries and strawberries with nuances of Bing Cherry and Juicy Orange wrapped in layers of buttery caramel and sugary vanilla crunch. Okay. I thought it would be super, super cherry. It's not, which I'm happy about. It is a very 
it kind of reminds me of like if you got a strawberry muffin and it was like those muffins that have like the crunchies on the top like the streusel but not cinnamon like a very rich baked strawberry it's actually really good i don't pick up raspberry cherry and orange really at all i really just get like a baked strawberry that's really yummy well okay I was worried, but I'm really happy with that one. Next, we have strawberry French toast. Now this one, I feel like all these don't even need descriptions. Imagine French toast with heaps of strawberries and drizzled with syrup. A buttery rich scent with strong hints of strawberry. Oh yeah, this is a very strong strawberry. French toast, interesting. I am getting a baked note. But if I didn't read French toast, I, I wouldn't necessarily say that's what I smell. Yeah, mm -mm. I definitely just get like a very, a very true rich strawberry. You can tell it's like strawberry on some sort of a dessert, but I know French toast isn't a dessert, but it could be. Yeah, I, I'm not really detecting that it's French toast or syrup. I'm just detecting that it's a very rich rich decadent scent it's good it's definitely like not what i expected and i'm sure i'm sure that it will come out when you warm it her scents always do next pink sugar strawberry now i ordered this because of jenny uh just jenny here on youtube she hasn't been on in a while so jenny if you're watching i love you and i hope you return soon ah uh, this is so good her pink sugar is incredible Carol has such a great pink sugar. Now, like, with the pink sugared violets, I didn't detect any pink sugar. With this, totally get it. And her pink sugar is one of my favorites because it truly smells like the Aqualina pink sugar perfume exactly. I feel like sometimes in blends from other vendors, it can get lost. This is a very strong pink sugar. That sweet candy-like perfume scent with a hint of the strawberry. It's definitely more more reminiscent of the pink sugar which i'm not complaining i love that and then next we have strawberry margarita now this one reads nothing i don't have the description for this one nope okay so we're just going to go off of it but i've had plenty of strawberry margaritas not really but i've definitely had a few this is a very limey strawberry i wouldn't necessarily say it's like a margarita but it's definitely like like a lime like a strawberry mixed with lime if i read this as strawberry limeade that's what i would think too it's amazing the detail on these the, these molds have to come from real strawberries i mean this literally looks like i'm showing you a strawberry mm, just don't eat it it's so good so yummy i love strawberry Everything about strawberry just makes me super, super happy. Home stretch, only four bags to go. The next one we have is strawberry sangria. And this is fresh strawberries blended with a refreshing melody, beginning with top notes of grape, orange, lemon, lime, and apple, followed with middle notes of pomegranate and blackberry, sitting on a dry down of sugar. Wow, that's a lot. Okay. I, I, it's like fruit salad, but emphasis on the strawberry. That's really all I can describe. I definitely get blackberry. Blackberry and pomegranate. I mean, lemon, lime, grape, apple, orange. Yeah, I mean, I get mainly blackberry and strawberry. Maybe a hint of, like, in the pomegranate. Like, that's what's adding a little bit of, like, a sweet tartness to it. But... This is a melody of fruits. So if you like so many fruits, this is good. It's definitely not my favorite strawberry, but it's good. The next one that I picked up is also from Jenny, Strawberry Peppermint. She absolutely raves about this. Oh, and this is really pretty. Okay, it's not like blow you in the head peppermint. It's just subtle, which I like. It's that fresh picked strawberry that delicious juicy strawberry with just a hint of fresh of peppermint onyx is sitting right here smelling <laughs> it's it is it's really good this is interesting i don't know where i would melt this 
So, I have to remember Jenny's videos, or Jenny, if you're watching, comment down below. I'm not sure, is this bedroom because of the peppermint? Living room, fall, winter, because it's not super strong on peppermint. I wonder if it comes out more when you warm it, but, oh, that's really yummy. Speaking of peppermint, I watched someone on YouTube here. I want to say her name is Katie. She did a Sassy Girl Aroma haul, and she said she gets an, a matcha green tea latte with peppermint and vanilla syrup. She said it sounds crazy. I got it yesterday. So good. I can't drink a lot of coffee. I have a very sensitive stomach. I literally don't drink coffee for a month. I feel great. I have one drink of coffee. I'm sick. Like, two days. So, I know it's the coffee. So that's why I get a lot of coffee scents. I like melting coffee, smelling coffee, and it makes me think I can drink coffee, but I can't. Um, and that was incredible. I might even get one again today. Next, we have Strawberry Toasted Marshmallow Martini. This just totally intrigued me, because I know if I saw Strawberry Toasted Marshmallow Martini on a menu, I would order it. And this says, our sweet toasted marshmallow martini, which is marshmallow vodka and Irish liqueur topped with whipped cream mixed with fresh picked strawberry. Wow, that's alcoholic. That's crazy. You definitely get an alcohol note, like that Irish cream and marshmallow vodka. That's really different. Wow. This is the most unique scent I've smelled from her. That is really cool. Really cool. Mixed with that, like, fresh picked strawberry. And then last but not least, we have strawberry zucchini. I love myself a zucchini scent, and this is our yummy strawberry mixed with sweet zucchini bread. Make this almost a summer treat. Oh, phenomenal. And I love this little muffin shape. It's like one of my favorites. It literally looks like a little muffin, and it smells just like the best zucchini bread with strawberry jam. Fabulous. Amazing. Great way to end the video. I love Strawberry Bakery, and this is the best Strawberry Bakery. So good. Well, now that I am surrounded by candles from the Keeping Room Wax on my floor, I'm going to let you go, tie these bags back up, put them away, and savor all the deliciousness that is candles from the Keeping Room. Thank you all so much for watching, and Carol, if you're watching this, I love you so much. You've inspired so many around the world, and around, or around at least, the vendor wax world, and 26 years in business is a long time, and it doesn't go unnoticed. I know this is not the end, but believe me, I will be ordering from you until the end. So thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell in the corner, that way you're alerted every time I make a video here on YouTube. Have an incredible day. You matter. I love you all so much. Be kind. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.